Hi guys, uh, I'm Prashant. Um, I'm from Hyderabad. I curate a design community called Design Evening in Hyderabad. I also run an innovation platform. Uh, so, okay. So, there will be a lot of things going on here. So, you can ask questions over here. So, I uh, I wanted to show something on the... So, Sumit was talking about solutions for uh, a bunch of problem statements that are out there. And I was talking to a few uh, designers here who are uh, about the um, collaboration of open source design and it's it's kind of a new thing but uh, we were also debating on what uh, design and open source how can they come together and uh, uh, what it means to have open source in design so uh, i wanted to sh start showcasing it with examples uh, so this is one of the projects that people were working on in the community so uh, the problem statement was how do we enable people to uh, better transport better use the uh, bus trans transportation systems in Hyderabad and uh, each one had their own problem state I mean each one had their own uh, solution some of them through technology at it some of them who uh, who are like more of domain they said let's talk to APS RTC so then we brought all, all of these people together onto one uh, into one uh, location and uh, they started brainstorming right so we also had designers for this so this is visual design um, so it, it all started off with uh, understanding so bunch of them said there's uh, Google. You can also already see uh, timings. Uh, so how we went about it is that uh, so one person was leading and curating this project, and uh, we all penned down our uh, ideas, and uh, we brought it together. And it started off with uh, trying to figure out uh, to get the bus stop, the list of bus stops, right? So uh, so uh, we uh, got in touch with the APS RTC, and we got around 3000 bus stops and uh, we figured that it's too many bus stops for people to verify it's not geospatial so uh, how do we get you know how do we get this uh, down how do we get the number of stops uh, down and find out what uh, to send volunteers across so uh, the, one guy wrote an algorithm to find out uh, is there any interse intersecting bus stops and we found out that 75% of the bus stops are uh, intersecting so then we figured that we can send a bunch of bunch of volunteers uh, over two days and uh, geospatially locate all the bus stops, right? So we didn't start with building a portal. We didn't start with building an app, right? So uh, what I wanted to actually bring in is the aspect of uh, designers and you know, technologists coming together to work on um, something that is open source, right? So uh, we were discussing on uh, what is open source design and you cannot really open source uh, it doesn't make sense to open source the design outside, right? So you open source the design patterns, you open source design processes. So this platform is where we, what we created is uh, people um, worked on these projects and they came up with an exploration process to come up with new patterns and uh, bring out, uh, you know, uh, new processes for people to use on problem statements that are very relevant. You cannot take one problem statement and put it out there, right? So finally they figured uh, all the geospatial stops and then uh, how do we send the information out to more number of people? So that's why they build this portal, but not everybody has access to this portal. A few volunteers can just take printouts and then they figured out that uh, there are panda bars and, you know, smaller stores around the bus stops. So they can print it out and distribute these pamphlets to these panda bars who can in turn sell it for a rupee for everyone across that. So uh, these are all the routes uh, for the stops uh, across that stop uh, and all the stops after the stop. So and all relevant information out there. So they were able to, uh, so we had a process behind it. It's not very well oriented. Uh, so the, our intention is that we bring this process and put it out there. And I think that's how more and more people can get, um, you know, to start contributing to open source design, right? Uh, so uh, this is another example, right? So um, this is, I would say, product design. So this is a bus stop, bus route number. Here you have digital boards. In Hyderabad also we have a lot of digital boards, but still buses use uh, manual boards, right? So they fall off, they fall off like, I mean, it's not uh, re relevant to web construction, but I wanted to showcase it. So the board falls off and the readability is very bad because there's dust in the glass. So the, um, so we brought in these bunch of designers again and they started building solutions for, uh, uh, the bus boards on, on different solutions, right? So how can it be better readable? Because by the time the bus comes and stops, 
it's too late to read it and the bus goes away right so they were trying to bring about something the uh, some some kind of board which is easy to read right so this could lead to a design process this could lead to a design pattern which, which is very specific for uh, road transportation right so you cannot translate it maybe you can derive out of it right so if you are able to come out of your day job or your business and collaborate on these kind of projects then uh, you will be you'll be open to more uh, bring out more processes which is easier right so uh, people can derive and create components or and use it as a framework and then derive components out of it right so this is one example and uh, i think the other one is not loading okay so i think it's not loading so the other one was uh, the get rta project uh, where uh, we had an rta activist who had actually had a problem statement of uh, uh, congregating rti documents because it's not easy uh, to file i mean it there's a huge process to file for an rti and then you get the data it's all manual papers so they wanted to aggregate it into a digital document uh, repository it's easy to read i mean it's easy to search and create stories out of it right so even there we had people coming down and uh, that's more sort of a visual design right so because we want to visualize stories out of these rtis you take you take rti from one doc, uh, department and then you take rti from another department and then you connect this and create stories so uh, if there's an opportunity for you to be part of these communities uh, work on projects which are not in, like totally uh, constricting you from your day job uh, not everybody has the freedom to uh, bring your uh, design processes out of your companies this could be a platform right so if you are able to create the community around Uh, i know there is design day but uh, this is oriented towards working along with technologists this is oriented work towards working with uh, domain experts so you you get in more ex there's more process of exploration so uh, so these are the different projects i wanted to talk about yeah so thank you any questions good thank you